First question has two parts. What is the spirit of prophecy? And then secondly, how does it identify the remnant church? Well, that's a very hot topic in the world, isn't it? And if you look at some of the web pages, uh, it'll make your my few hairs on my head <laughs> rise up. What is the spirit of prophecy? The spirit of prophecy actually is the prophetic gift within the church throughout all the ages. So God has placed within his church in whatever age we're talking about, from the time of Adam and Eve, right up to the last moments of Earth's history, he has placed the prophetic gift. In other words, he has spoken to his church through prophets, keeping them on the straight and narrow, giving them information and light upon his word. And uh, it is a special gift. And in very special circumstances, you have sometimes more of it. And in other circumstances, you have less of it. And in some circumstances, you have none of it. So there's a certain rule which says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So in periods when people are turning their back on obedience to God and the law of God, then prophecy was something that faded into the background. Now, when God started the Christian church, prophecy played a very, very important part. And of course, uh, the ultimate prophet of prophets is God himself. And Jesus was the one who set the tone. And after he departed, to build the fledgling church and to strengthen the fledgling church, there were prophets, many of them. Some of them were women, some of them were men. Paul was, of course, a very prominent prophet. The disciples and John were prophets. Others were more historians, and uh, like Luke, for example. And through the Christian era, God used this gift of prophecy and he put it down in his word. Now, this gift is not something that is to disappear in the church. And the, the last church on earth is very specifically noted to have the spirit of prophecy. In other words, this prophetic gift will again be restored in the last moments of earth's history because God is not going to end world's history with a whimper, but with a loud cry. And for that, there was the necessity of placing within the remnant the spirit of prophecy to guide a church in the final message to humanity. And uh, we find that manifested in our time within the confines of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the writings of Ellen G. White. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Fight. I, so we know now that the spirit of prophecy, it's the prophetic word that God has given to his people throughout the ages and that God's Amen. people can be identified by that same spirit of prophecy because in Revelation 14, verse 12, we are told that they have that, well, the faith of Jesus. And in Revelation 12, 17, they have the testimony of Jesus, which Revelation 19, 10 tells us is the spirit of prophecy. And as you said, Dr. Fight, we see it in the writings of Ellen White.